We have this paper cutter that works great. The problem is we lost the handle when we put it together, so we've been using it without a handle. So I decided to 3D print one. I found the design on Thingiverse, modified it in Tinkercad, and I'll show you how I did it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters, and they get special access to ChepClub.com. I found this knife handle on Thingiverse by user Marcelo Elkram, and it looked like a perfect starting point for my handle. I used my calipers to measure the location where the handle will go. It was 13.06 millimeters wide and 20.16 millimeters tall. So I'm going to just say 20 by 13. So I went to Tinkercad and then I downloaded his file and brought it in using the import tool. Once I had the handle in place, I could see that I needed to do a modification and make the side of it flat. So I turned this thing 180 degrees, and then I'm going to bring in a hollow box to chop the edge off. But before I do that, let's put the ruler in the corner. Now I'll bring in this box. It's actually a hole designed to take away material. So I'll put it next to the handle here where I want to make it flat, stretch out the box, and then make it taller so it covers the whole handle. And now I can position this so I get a nice flat edge on this handle. Group them together, and I got the beginnings of my handle. Now I need to make that hole in the side that's 13 millimeters by 20 millimeters. Now, what I didn't show you as I measured the depth, it took me two tries. I asked the first time I got it wrong. So 54 millimeters deep, so it's plenty deep enough. I'll leave the width 20 millimeters, and then I'll lower this thing down to 13 millimeters actually make that 13.25. I made it just slightly bigger so it slide on nicely. So then I positioned it on the handle and then I modified it here. I made the handle hollow and I made the block solid. Just the opposite of what they're going to be but this way it's easier to see for me. Next I used the align tool to align the block to the center of the handle at least in the vertical direction. And then you can see it's cutting into the handle so I need to make the handle a little bit wider. So I clicked on it and then dragged its corner box out until the block could slide in. Then I slid the block in just about to the end, so I'm really like 53 millimeters deep, which is good. And then I made the block into a hole again, the handle into a solid, and this is almost ready to group together. But I noticed the block needed to go over a little bit more. And once I did that, then I was worried about inside the handle, so I made them both hollow again. And yeah, it's a little too close, so I slid the handle to the left a little bit more. Now this looks good. Made the handle hollow or solid again, grouped the two together, and I had my handle. This looks really good. The next step is to export the .stl file and load it into Simplify 3D. I wanted to print it standing up, so I used Simplify 3D, Play Surface on Bed, and chose the side of the handle. And that made it stand straight up. Then I clicked on Center and Arrange, and now it's the center of the bed, which is my CR10 Mini. And that's the profile I'm using. I'm going to use a 40% fill. For a layer height, I'm going to use a 0.2 layer height. So that should be plenty smooth enough. Uh, additions, I don't want this checked here, so I'll uncheck that. Infill, 40%, like I mentioned. Support, I'm not going to use support. I'm not worried about that inside being a little saggy. Temperature, here's the temperature settings. I'm just using a black PLA. And then cooling 100% after the first layer. Speed is showing 2400 millimeters per minute or 40 millimeters per second. Once I had that, I clicked on prepare to print. And this thing said it would take 4 hours and 23 minutes. But through the magic of time lapse, I did it in about 4 seconds. And here it is. It slid on nicely but tight. I almost grabbed the blade there. And I just had to push and I got my dimensions perfect. This thing is on tight. No gap here, like the first one had a gap there. And this thing works great. If you like this, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, join us at Chep Club via Patreon. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. That way you don't miss an episode. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.